Hello everyone, Peter here. Just another uh, quick one on a bit of information, a bit more on what we've done before in relation to the piston, EGR, fault, etc. Uh, this one here has come in, it uh, had just over 70,000 Ks on it, did have a known EGR fault. The injectors were tested by KM Diesel in Brisbane, they all come back okay. Uh, this is the piston out of it. Number one cylinder as before, um, it's heated up on the thrust side and expanded. Obviously he didn't, he pulled over before it got to this point, which is great, that's what we needed to see. Uh, and then the engine has come in, we've come apart and done some diagnosis work for it. Had a, quite a good response of people asking uh, what they can do to prevent this, etc. The best piece of advice I would give would be get a pyrometer fitted to the exhaust. That will measure your exhaust gas temperature. They're not expensive. Get one with an alarm, set the alarm, uh, where the, so it can go off to give you some warning and then you can pull over and find out what's going on and not get to this point. It's very cheap insurance. Uh, Toyota have even identified the fault as being thermos, thermal stress related, um, which gives you that indication back up the Toyota, you know, are onto it as well. Um, but yeah, definitely, especially if you're towing or whatever, get an EGR or a, a pyrometer on it and go from there.